Hi kids, Billy for Jessica here. How are you? Welcome to Hashing It Out. We've got some great topics tonight. I doubt it, unless they were written in. Okay, let's get started. I'm all about basil right now. Elaborate. Well, it's true. The secret is out. I found an herb that I'm crazy about. It finally happened for me. No, it wasn't chabrika. No, it wasn't curry. Ugh, Indian food is so gross. I'm about basil. I have asked my bartenders to muddle some basil, half a shot of triple sec, ice, vodka. You shake it like a crying baby on an international flight. You then pour it into your glass and a splash of soda. It's delicious. Add lemon, my God, it's like an enema for your mouth. So I'm all about basil, but I've also been doing a lot of prosciutto for lunch where I cut tomato, a little prosciutto, basil that I soak, you know, like an oil with uh, garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm very, very talented, but I'm not that kind of talented person who likes to brag about it. Oh, sorry, something just popped out of me. <laughs> It's corn. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not that kind of person. I don't do that sort of thing. But yes, I'm all about basil right now. I just want to shout it from the rooftops. I love you, basil. I love you. Describe the last time you... <sighs> Who wrote this? The last time I farted in public, first of all, it's like a giant tunnel down there. I wouldn't, you wouldn't, it'd be like this. I mean, you'd hear nothing. I'm saying my asshole's so wide, you wouldn't hear it. would be like, <sighs> you wouldn't hear anything. <laughs> I hold it in because that gives you like stomach cancer and I'm trying to get out of this place as soon as possible. Oh McDonald's has breakfast all day long which is a real problem lately because I've been sausage egg McMuffining my life and those hash browns are so fucking good. How many McMuffins can you fit in your mouth at the same time? I would probably go with two on that. They're really- four? Excuse me. I can't fit four. Hillary Clinton's shade. I know who Hillary Clinton is, obviously. What was she being shady about? I mean, did she do something? Did something happen? Don't... Oh, those guys who like, who like bitch her all day long and she, and she sat there. I just wish we had a monarchy. I'd be so fucking good at it. There's a lot of these tonight. <laughs> I need a nap. I heard Lilan Ma... Oh, Lilan, this is about you. Oh, guys, you know my good friend Lilan Matsumoto, my boom operator. Always looking so stylish, Lilan. You look very nice. I heard Lilan Matsumoto got her start in a ping pong show in Hong Kong. What was your first job? My first job, when I was 12, my parents sold me to a farm. And I know you're like, Billy, I worked on a farm starting in March until after Christmas, because they, they sold Christmas trees. And how much was the minimum wage when I started working, you asked? $3.25. So that should give you some idea as to how old I am. Guess what, bitches? I look good. Okay, <laughs> if I had a vagina, I would call her I don't know. That doesn't... I don't want a vagina. I'd call it never. I'd ignore it and hope it'd go away. If I had a vagina, I'd call her Felicia. So I'd be like, bye. <laughs> You're so... so stupid. And you assholes are all laughing because I'm not that fucking funny. Okay. The movie isn't called November 1st. Over Halloween weekend, we watched the movie Halloween. So you know it takes place on... Halloween. And it's just starting and getting really good and scary. And my friend Tosh says, I can't believe this whole movie takes place in one day. And then fucking Josh says, well, it's not called November 1st. <laughs> Nothing? Why don't you not understand it? Are you not getting it? Oh, I already told the story earlier tonight, so you're all... Well, I thought it was very funny. <laughs> oh, cut versus uncut. We've done this a thousand times. Everyone knows cut. They snuck it in there. Maybe you should have someone watching these piles. These piles are unattended. I always do cut because I don't even use Ziploc bags. I don't know how to use them. How dare you? That's funny, but what is that about? How dare you? We say that a lot to each other. But look at it again. How dare you? Question mark. How what is dare it? you? Oh, you want, oh, Israel wants to mix, how dare you? You want to mix it up a little on the end. I'm not mad about that. We say a lot, how dare you? We do that a lot. What next? What does that mean? It's a drawing. Drawing. A drawing. drawing. It's, a, it's a good drawing, though. What comes next? You know what? I did hear a scary story about what comes next. This is the most frightening thing I have ever heard in my life. Someone said, what if reincarnation is when you die and the light at the end of the tunnel is you coming back out of the birth canal. It never ever ends. Just like that goddamn Grey's Anatomy. 
Why go to a hospital with so much fucking drama? I want no drama at my hospital. No drama and rice pudding. What was it like when fire was first discovered? Do you mean what was it like when I gave fire to the humans? When I was a kid, I burned down accidentally 30 acres of woods. Not woods, like brush. The largest brush fire. It was an accident. It did burn down a home. I had to go to court. It was a whole thing. Kids, thanks so much for tuning in to Hashtag with Billy Francesca. If you are in West Hollywood on a Friday night and you want to be on Advice from an Idiot, look for me. I'll be the drunk one on the street with the camera and the lights on me. Subscribe to my channel or salt me God. I will burn your house down as we have discussed tonight. I've done it before and I'll do it again. Thanks so much, kids. Be whatever the fuck you want. Just don't annoy me. Oh. I'm clapping for myself. Real life doesn't make me cry. When my grandmother died, I turned to my brother while they were lowering her into the ground. I, he was crying. I put my hand on his arm and said, God, am I hungry? And he said, what's wrong with you? I'm like, she was 93. I mean, like, how much longer do you want to live?